Hey everybody, this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel. I told you all in my cast off Thursday video number six that I was going to do this crochet tag. This was started by um, One Virtuous Woman and it's OBW. And every time you say that, I want to say OBW. Okay. So, um, this is a crochet tag. So I, she tagged me because she said, everybody that loves the crochet, you are tagged. So here we go. And of course, this is just fun to do, right? And as I am chilling today. Um, not really chilling, though. Doing a lot of work. We wanted to get this in. <laughs> so how long have you been crocheting? I started crocheting when I was around six or seven. So... Um, Look, I'm about to tell my age, huh? <laughs> it's been 20 plus years that I've been crocheting. Uh, my mother used to do it. Um, and so, yeah, a long time. Um, if I had to, 25. Yeah, don't get me to doing math at this time of night. But yes, over 20 years I've been crocheting. Question number two, who taught you to crochet? My mother. And actually, um, when I think about it, it wasn't like, here's a hook, here's some yarn, I'm going to teach you how to do it. She would do it from time to time. She loved to make like throws and different things like that. And she would just do it whenever. Um, I even remember pillows that she made when she was in high school that, you know, of course, way older than uh, me that used to be in my grandmother's house. And so what I did is I just watched her, just like a lot of things that I learned from my mother, like braiding hair and all that other stuff, just from watching her. Then when I got older, I didn't want to keep doing the same uh, double crochet because that was the only stitch I knew. I then bought like one of those really easy teach yourself to crochet books, and that's how I learned how to do the other stitches. And then later on, many years later, I learned how to read patterns because I would just do it. Whatever I wanted to make, I'd see it get the yarn and just go and then years later which actually it's been in the past probably four three or four years that I've learned how to real you know really read patterns like detailed patterns um, and so and now I'm reverting back to like not even caring for patterns <laughs> but anyways that wasn't the question so my mother taught me to crochet what is your favorite hook size my favorite hook size is 5.5 I don't know the number and I'm one of those very interesting crocheters that I have hooks everywhere and I um, lead them with the project so in boy it is I and I typically use um, boy and I'm starting to really like um, which one is it Bates, Suzanne Bates, but in her in her um, hooks, I like the six, which is a J. And when I'm doing really big projects like um, a chain, or if I want a big fluffy feel, and I'm using something like Red Heart, I I love to use like an N, like a really big one. But five point five is my standard um, for the most part. Okay, what is your favorite brand of hooks? I just answered the question on accident, right? You know, I would have to say that it probably has to be um, boy, if I'm saying that correct, because almost all of my hooks are in this brand. But um, I've been using others. And typically it's just because I'm out of town and that's what I buy. And I am really starting to love the catch on that Bates hook. I want to try the bamboo, though. I've seen those, and it just seems so cool. Um, mm -hmm. what is your favorite yarn? I don't have a favorite, but I am, look, I keep saying I'm starting to like it. I think it's because I'm trying something different. I don't have a favorite. It depends on what I'm making. Like this time of the year, I really love to be able to use wools and things like that because they make very pretty, pretty, pretty shawls but um, a lot of the times I use Red Heart because that's what's available um, I am enjoying impeccable impeccable I always say it twice <laughs> that's right but I because I love their color blend and that helps me with my matching issue so 
Red Heart would have to probably be number one, and then I'm trying some others, um, depending on the availability of them, and because sometimes those warmer hues, I'm noticing um, that I can't find it in Red Heart. So I do have to go to the other brands to get like that rich purple or that rich green that sometimes makes for great contrasting colors. I have to go to other brands. So it's making me branch out some. Um, what is your favorite pattern? Don't have a favorite pattern because I like to wing it. Winging it works because I don't have to carry stuff with me. Um, I, use, I have a staple uh, pattern in my head for the main prayer shawls that I make because that's what I typically stick with and if I had to pick like a stitch or something like that that is a pattern per se I love granny squares I have fallen in love with them I could do so much with them and they're very uh, they're portable very mobile I can take them wherever I go and it can fit in my purse so if I had to pick a pattern I would say granny square and um, for the most part my prayer shawl patterns I love the triangle rectangle whatever so that is that. Who is your favorite crochet guru? I know I should have looked this up. Okay, Teresa with T J whatever. I love her. Um, she's awesome. Of course the others, Bob Wilson, um, Beth in Texas. I mean, I think a lot of people will say the same thing. Um, I also love the inspiration that I feel and the vibe that I get from the um, double double crochet twins is that they have a line through red heart which I love I mean other than the fact that they're they have they're just I love the way that their patterns are just seem so inventive but when you look at them um, the actual patterns that they make it's it's very it's simple it's not complicated and I love that about their stuff so I think they're called the cr double crochet twins twin double crochet find them they're here on YouTube so I like them as well and so and I guess I would only categorize them as gurus because they have a line they have a now have a yarn line they have the, you know their patterns are produced by Red Heart but if you're talking about people that do tutorials the tutorials that I watch the most are Teresa's just because typically she just challenges me to do something different it's just short sweet straight to the point and then you know that I've fallen in love with the Entrelac and I followed Beth in Texas her tutorial for that yeah tongue tied I don't know why okay um what are you inspired by I am inspired by everything um I'm inspired by colors, I'm inspired by pictures, I'm inspired by scripture, like there's, like for example, this piece. I was thinking about attributes of God, and as I'm sitting there doing this during my prayer time, this is what I came up with. And, um, and I found, what I kept thinking about, that God was our comforter. And, like, what else, you know? sunlight and royalty and you know I am very much inspired by scripture I'm inspired by people um you know it just is like another project that I'm kind of working up is I was inspired by a stained glass window at a church I went to it was just so beautiful and I kept saying I'm gonna take a picture I'm gonna take a picture never took a picture but I had this mental picture and the burst of colors are just in my head and I can't get them out and so the best thing to do is try to figure out a way to make it happen with yarn and a hook so as VW OVW says I'm an original hooker I don't know if I should say that again though <laughs> okay um so that's what inspires me um even seeing some things because I don't like to do a lot of shopping so I like to see something and try to give my most basic interpretation of what I see and then allow the yarn to speak from there so that's what I that's what my intent is when I'm doing it okay the next question what do you use for a stitch marker I use bobby pins I use bobby pins they're easy I can like crochet right over them, pull it out, move it, 
and keep going. Regular old bobby pins. And they're cheap. Get a whole pack for 89 cents. <laughs> so I can lose them, find them, lose them, use them, find them, lose them again. Um, what is the highest amount you pay for one skein of yarn? Um, $40. And like you, I do remember. But it was wool, and um, that particular piece, I um, had to actually use two of them, and it was for my grandmother. So I spent $80 in yarn, but she loved it. And so it was worth every single cent in time. Um, so, yes. How many times have you redone a project before you got it right? I can't answer that question because if it takes me too long, I will stop or I will wing it like that hat that you saw. <laughs> like I really should do it again because I messed up. But I will just find a way to make it work and keep it moving. Um, so I am very much a seat of my pants crocheter because... If I get bored or it t it's too complicated, I'll just not do it anymore. Okay, you may hear my family coming in, so you just have to keep the party going. Okay, the next question is, do you know how to read patterns? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. Um, how do you feel when, you, uh, when you're in a yarn store? When I'm in a yarn store, how do I feel? I feel excited. If I if it's a yarn sale, I am really excited. And even though sometimes those sales are really not sales, like on the inside, to my core, I am happy. Uh, especially when they have like blends and different brands, or if they just put it all in the middle of the aisle and you just get ooh and ah all through the aisle. Like I love it. I I get heart palpitations. It's not a good thing because. You just spend a whole lot of money, and it just makes me happy. So, yes, um, happiness, joy, <laughs> giddiness, all of that stuff is what I feel when I go to the yarn store. Um, do you have a lot of yarn but still feel like it's not enough? Yes, yes, and yes. If you saw my yarn haul video, you will see that I have drawers and drawers of yarn. Um, and also, okay, let me just cover that up. Okay, I have a, because, two things. One, the colors are not always the ones that I want to match. So I slowly build until I get all the colors that I want. Another thing is, I am awful at gauging how much yarn I need to complete stuff. So I will see something in my giddiness and buy two skeins. What am I going to make with two skeins of yarn? Being that my projects are big projects. So that usually means that I have to, you know, accumulate and then and then make a project. Because I don't like when you buy 50, you know, skeins of one color. But at the same time, you may not have everything, right? So, yeah, I'm totally covering up my yarn buying issue. Okay, next question. Um, do you think you're a yarn-aholic? Uh-huh. Who do you think? No. <laughs> um, no, because I use it. Is that considered a yarn holic? I don't think so if you use it. I mean, I have yarn right here. I have yarn right there. I have yarn in a bucket down here. Like, I have yarn everywhere. Okay. Do you ever freestyle crochet? Yes. That is like 97% of what I do is freestyling. I love it only problem is, is like you can't always duplicate and but that makes it so that every piece that I either give away or sell or make for someone is totally different they're always unique as you can see even when I do patterns <laughs> um, express how you feel when you are counting in crochet and someone interrupts you I love counting I just don't like it so when someone interrupts me I, okay, first of all, I don't even like going back there and counting. I will just pull it all out and start over. So it is annoying. It just makes me not a happy camper. And so 
I literally count aloud like I'm learning how to count like one two three and now what I do when I have to do because my pieces are large I um, count in ten uh, in ten to, or twenty chain increments and put a bobby pin so that all I have to do is go two four six yeah so I'm not happy not happy at all okay do you dream about crochet yes but that's how a lot of my patterns come up or even my color combinations or even like that stained glass window that I told you about. It comes to me in my dream and then I find a way to capture it or even um, I sketch it and then try to do my best interpretation, you know, once I do. So, yes, I do. Do you drive and crochet? No. And I don't know how in the world either you thought of that question and decided to do it, but please don't let me drive past you in your drive and, and crocheting because I'm a tail okay uh what else do you dis oh do you crochet at work um yes but I work for myself so I can do that <laughs> I take breaks uh when I'm on hold if I'm on conference calls and I'm on hold or long I will especially if it's something where it's kind of very much just interactive and yes I do often and it helps me relax and it helps me think I crochet and pray yes I do um, it's the rhythm the rhythmic ness of it just helps me it's very soothing to me um, do you dislike it when you have a simple pattern but it's hard to follow due to the way that yes I do because I really don't care for because you know you gotta count and then you gotta go figure out which row you're on and I like to put down pick up put down pick up so yes I don't like that and I will stop and wing it in freestyle. Um, how many UFOs, unfinished objects, do you have? Too many. Uh, off the top of my head, I'd say maybe six off the top of my head. But like I have work in progress projects in my mind that I'm still trying to think of how I'm going to do it. So I would say a lot but at least six that I can think of but I got a lot of them done in the other videos I'm so proud of myself so it was more <laughs> um do you travel with your yarn and hook yes I do I do I do and in um, in Marcel's video I did never really thought about keeping it uh just some in the car but I usually have like a thing of it in my car um, usually not work in progress but I do I keep it in my car or in my bag and take it with me I will pull it out at all times so I have enjoyed this I don't even know if I'll be able to upload this this has been like way too long um, have a fantastic day I've loved doing this and if you are a crocheter or you love to do it um, I guess it's not anything with yarn since it does say crochet you're tagged I'd love to hear what you have to say. I will promise to watch and comment. And um, you can do it as a reply here or a reply to the original video. Have a fantastic evening and a great weekend. And happy crocheting.